Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to unbox the May Elves box, which is the dinosaur one. And this box looks so shiny and pretty. I think this is my first Elves box with this design, if I remember correctly, because I skipped a month and I just love it. So let's open. And the cover design is so cute of these like chunky looking dinosaurs. And of course Sophie and Toffee's social media information on the back. Now the first item are these silicon hole micas. I've bought them before in a different set and these are very handy for molds that don't have a hole where you want a hole for a necklace or something like that or you want a hole in a different spot or something. And here we have a full pack of molds and it looks like there's a paper with instructions or something like that. And these are all tiny flat molds. So they are pretty stuck together. So let's first look at the paper and it seems like the hole maker is for one of the skeleton body things where they forgot one, which is really nice that they added them. Cause honestly, it would just be a waste to throw this mold away just because it's missing a hole. And this is the mold. It's a nice detailed flat mold, which I really like. And with their sheet, we can easily actually find a piece they meant for the homemakers. Now the other molds that were in this pack were this cute tiny dinosaur mold. This is so adorable. And this ring mold. And upon further inspection and comparison with my rings, there's actually a size that will fit me in this mold, which I'm super excited about. Granted, I will probably never wear uh, resin rings just because of the chunkiness of them, but still, I'm super happy that uh, also my smaller ring size fits. Our next mold is this chunky dinosaur mold and the design looks a bit like their cover for the sheet sheet. And I think it's cute and it it really reminds me of these crayon molds or these flat chocolate molds you can get for dinosaurs and stuff. We also get one more of these wooden bases. I love them, they're so handy for projects. And I think it's meant for this large mold, which looks like an egg mold to me. Which I think is pretty cool, because you can make lots of things inside of an egg mold. Next up, next up we get some of these gold rings and some dinosaur decals. And they come in different colors and shapes. And I love the assortment of the purplish, bluish green tones. It's I think it's very fitting and very cool as an embed. And we also get bezels that are apparently really securely locked away inside of this bag. And these are all kinds of dinosaur shapes and I'm not pretending I know all of them so I'm not even trying <laughs> to name them. But yeah, they come with the Sophie and Toffee logo thing on the top. And there's actually a lot of them, including some dinosaur footprints, which I really like. I think they look cute and yeah, I think those are pretty cute and neat bezels for keychains and stuff like that. And we also get an egg, which totally reminds me of a Yoshi egg.
Next up we get a gold chain, which looks like it has two loops to fasten. I think it's for the uh, dinosaur skeleton. And we get this brownish glitter, which has this like copper brown tone. And some pigments in brown and green. And these are Morandi pigments, so they should be pretty opaque and pretty neat. And we got some color changing UV resin, which changes from white to purple. Oops. And it has some nice instructions and some warnings on the back, which I think is always really handy when it's a product you've never used before to have the warnings. So feel free to pause if you are interested in reading them. And then we got some one-to-one -one ratio A and B part resin, which is my favorite of the resins, so I'm happy about that. And lastly, we get this really cute sheet of clear embed foil. And it has also this really cute dinosaur designs, and it has some of these skeleton designs, and it looks like this one may actually fit inside of the mold. I'm not sure if it will really fit and you probably have to cut it out really exactly, but maybe if you have the time and the patience to do this, you can use them and embed them inside of this mode to make this really detailed looking uh, bone stuff. So let's have a look inside of this booklet. and. At first we see all of the stuff in the box and I'm a bit confused because the ring looks like it has a flat side but the mold really doesn't so I think that's just the image they went with. And here we can see all of the dinosaur designs again they showed. And apparently the necklace is rose gold plated, which I think is really cool. Because I hope it will last longer and not rub off and become green and yuck. And we get some instructions on how to make the skeleton and the ring and the egg. Which I think is really neat. And again, the ring has a flat side here. And on the last page we see that they used the flat dino mold for the egg, which I think could be improved on, but could be really cute. And of course the winner for the last challenge. So let's actually start a project. And at first I mix a little bit of brown and white Morandi pigment dye inside of this UV resin. And I'm starting off with the bone piece that or spine piece, I guess, that's missing the hole. And the reason for that is, is I can cure it uh, with the silicon hole maker first, because if I put resin in the other ones and cure them, the hole would be cured too. So I basically did this to not forget to make this hole. And afterwards, I'm just really slowly dribbling in resin and this is actually really sped up so it took some time to fill these but i wanted to make sure to not have too many air bubbles and through this dripping method i could luckily avoid most of them and of course i messed up a bit so i had to wipe some stuff away but you know nothing that can't be fixed So while the bones are curing, I mixed four colors in one compartment thing, poor thingy, just 
to save some space and some resin because I don't need much of it and I'm just filling in the dinosaurs in four different colors so yellow, green, orange and blue. And again with this one I'm going really really slow letting the resin move into all of the gaps. And I'm going to actually make a necklace piece out of them. I'm still going to use the ring mold, but just as a kind of a hanging piece for all of these four. And so for the ring I'm using some of this slightly purplish color and some of the brown glitter they provided, because I think it's really pretty and with the slightly earthy tones and the purple it looks slightly more, I would say, berry-ish. So I fill in the smallest ring, letting it go all around and curing, and after it's cured, we can move on. But first, it's time for the skeleton assembly. And with the whole eye poke I make sure that it's evenly rounded out, so I just use my pokey tool to make sure there's no resin on the edges, because with the hole maker there may be thin layers that slip underneath the hole maker. And after laying it out I'm starting to assemble. And it's basically just using these tiny rings as connector pieces, kind of uh, fiddling the pieces on two at a time and then closing the rings. It wasn't too hard, but it was definitely not the easiest task. Luckily the holes were spaced out so good that I didn't really have any issues fitting the rings in and stuff, but closing them with the pieces on was a little bit tricky. But in the end I got it and it's actually moving pretty great. And then it was basically just a thing of putting on the rose blade and necklace. Which I think looks really neat with these colors because it has this slightly brownish golden tint. And then the ring was also cured. I think the tiny dinos kind of look like candy, which makes me really happy. And I just, you know, sorted them in a way I wanted to place them and then I used some jewelry glue to apply them onto the ring. And this was a tiny little bit fiddly because they were so small, but you know, in the end it worked out really well. And I basically just add a simple leather band onto it later. And with that, all of the projects for this box are finished. I'm going to make something with the egg later, but I still haven't really decided what I want to put in there or uh, with mo what materials I want to make the thing that I want to put in there. So this will be a future video. 
but he here you can see both the ring and the necklace. Oh, I guess they are both necklaces. And I'm really happy that they added the skeleton necklace. I saw some YouTubers uh, wearing some necklaces that were really similar with the bones moving. And I always wanted to have one of them, but you know, I'm really happy that Sophie and Toffee included that because with the mold you can choose the colors and stuff you want and make it how you want. I, you can post the necklace how you want, which I think is really, really cool. And of course this cute tiny necklace with the tiny little <laughs> gummy dinos. I think it's simple, it's really cute and I guess you could put more dinos on more of the same dinos or add something different or maybe add something in the middle of the ring, kind of like an open bezel. I think that would be a really cute project too. Overall I actually really really like this box. I think the only mold I didn't like as much was the thick dinosaur mold, but that was just because it has this thick shape. I think the design itself was really cute, I just don't know what I would use it for. But I like that they included this, so yeah. This box made me happy and I'm happy they corrected it. I, I don't think anything in this box particularly was bad. I think the only thing that was slightly annoying was the choice of pigment. Cause you know, when they add a bony type thing I would have wished for a white instead maybe of the green like the brown was perfect but maybe I would have displaced the green but you know that's just my personal preference because the green is actually really pretty too and I guess it's a dino color so you know anyways I hope you enjoyed watching this video and let me know in the comments down below if you've gotten this box and what were your thoughts on it I hope you have a great day. Bye!